Another video on 3.3 here, we're going to look at a word problem example um, of a linear system of inequalities. Um, sorry, let me zoom out just a hair here so you guys can see all of this. There we go. Okay, so Angela wants to work 40 hours or fewer, so at most 40 hours per week, programming and tutoring. She needs to earn at least $500 a week to meet her expenses. She earns $20 an hour programming and 10 per hour tutoring. How many hours could she work at each job to make enough money while making the constraints of her hours? Okay. So again, we want to identify what our variables are going to represent. So read the question again. How many hours could she work at each job? So I need a variable for her tutoring job and a variable for her programming. So it doesn't matter what you make which. I'm going to let X be her programming. So hours programming programming and then why I'm going to say hours tutoring okay so her constraints are she must make at least five hundred dollars um, five hundred dollars per so it's got to be at least um, I guess I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and write those you guys as my inequalities. Okay. So she needs to make at least $500. She'd be happy if she made more than $500. So we need an inequality involving the money. So X is our programming hours. So 20 X plus $10 for each hour she tutors. And that can be greater than or equal to $500, but minimum must be $500. Okay. Um, now we need a constraint involving the hours. So here's our one involving the money. Now we need one involving the hours. So she does not want to work more than 40 hours. So her number of hours programming, which is just X plus her number of hours tutoring must be less than or equal to 40. Okay. So these are her constraints, which are our inequalities. So if we graph these, okay. We are going to, um, so X and Y, so X is hours programming, right? And um, Y is hours tutoring. So to get an idea of what, like, I should do my intervals on my graph by, I'm going to go ahead and actually solve these using intercepts to figure out where they would be on the graph. So I'm going to do the top equation first, and I'm going to just treat it as equals. So I have 20 times 0 plus 10y equals 500. So the 0 just goes away. So I have 10y equals 500. So y equals 50. Okay, so I know I need to go at least to 50 on the y-axis, that may be more. And I'm going to do the same thing on um, that top equation, but now I'm going to put in 0 for y. So I have 20x plus 10 times 0 equals 500. So these go away, so 20x equals 500 divided by 20. So let's see, x equals 525. Okay, so there are two intercepts, so 25 and 50, and I can connect those to draw my line. I'm going to do the same thing on my other one before I put anything on the graph. So if I put in 0 for x, I would get y equals 40. And if I put in 0 for y, I would get x equals 40. Okay, so now testing a point. Um, well, it looks like the biggest I have to go up to is 50, 40, 40, 25. So if I go up to 50 on each, I should be okay. So I'm just going to kind of roughly 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and label those. Okay, so now my t first one was a y-intercept of 50 and a um, x-intercept of 25, so that's going to be right here. Um, it's less than or equal to, so I'm going to go ahead and connect. Okay, um, because this is a real world problem involving hours and money, we're not going to have negatives. So this would also be a position where I want to add the constraint X must be greater than zero and so must Y. So X greater than or equal to zero and Y greater than or equal to zero. So I'm going to add those in there. Okay, 
Now I have my other line was y equals, let me actually, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so 40, 40. So 40 is right here and right here. So if I connect, okay, there we are. So now I should test the point. Is my shading going to be um, in between one of these regions or between this region? So I'm just going to test a point. Um, and we can test whatever we want. doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to test one in here. I'm just going to test like 10, 10. So if I test 10, 10, this will kind of tell me which side to shade. So I'm going to do... Okay, so I'm going to do the top equation. Okay, so I have 20 times 10 plus 10 times 10. And I'm asking, is that greater than or equal to, uh, not 10, 500? All right, so I have 200 plus 100. That is not greater than or equal to 500. So that means my solutions cannot be in this region. Okay, so I'm going to try a different point. Let's try a point here. So let's do like 20, or excuse me, 30. I'm actually going to do 30 and 5 just because my graph isn't super to scale. So I want to make sure that that's going to fit in there. So now I'm going to test 30 and 5. Okay, so if I plug in 30 into that top one, I get 20 times 30 plus... 10 times 5, and I'm asking, is that greater than or equal to 500? Okay, so let's see, I get 600 plus 50. That one is greater than or equal to. So this one satisfies my top line, which is this one right here. So it works for that one. So now I just got to test my 40, 40 one. So I'm going to test this one. So is 30 plus 5 less than or equal to 40? Perfect. So that one actually checks out in both. So that means my shaded region is going to be right in here. So what this means, you guys, the feasible region is what this is called, but any ordered pair in that region will satisfy all of our constraints. So any combination in here will make her more than $500 or at least 500 and she will work at no more than 40 hours. So any combination in here will work. Um, and that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.